Begin with Governor Scott, who announced he is allotting half a billion dollars to addressing school safety and mental health issues. CBS 4's Ted Scouten begins our CBS 4 News team coverage in Tallahassee. Ted. Yeah, right now we are actually waiting for the House and Senate. Uh, they're going to be holding a news conference in a moment to give what their plan is going to be. The governor just announced his, that his news conference just ended a little while ago. It is a half billion dollar plan. It basically has what he calls three pillars to it, including uh, guns, school safety, and mental health. <laughs> Who, um, is violent to himself or someone else. Let's take a look at those specifics. So, when it comes to guns, what he's suggesting is uh, only 21 or older. So, uh, upping the age to 21 uh, for all weapons in Florida. Uh, prohibit uh, anyone who has an injunction for stalking or some type of violence uh, from possessing or buying a gun. Enhancing penalties for threats at schools and banning bump stocks uh, here in Florida. When it comes to school safety, the governor would like to see an officer at every school. He's suggesting one officer for every thousand students uh, in the school, a mandatory active shooter drill each year at the schools or each semester at the schools, hardening the schools. So that could be uh, through fencing, it could be through steel doors or uh, special windows in the school, anything that'll make the school uh, uh, more difficult for a shooter to get in. And there's also going to be a new app he wants. Uh, if you see something, say something app that will be available to all people in school in Florida. Uh, when it comes to mental health, he wants a mental health counselor at each school. This is not a teacher who doubles as a mental health counselor, as a student counselor. This is a dedicated mental health counselor at each school and also a threat assessment team at each school that would work together. It would be a collaboration of school, community, state uh, people who would get together uh, on a regular basis to discuss any students who may be posing a threat or who may uh, have issues uh, coming down the pike. Uh, the bottom line, the governor said he wants to keep guns out of the hands of the wrong people. Let's take a listen to what he said. I want to make it virtually impossible for anyone who is a danger to themselves or others to use a gun. I want to create a new program in Florida. I call it the Violent Threat Restraining Order. This concept is very simple and very common sense in my view. This will allow a court to prohibit a violent or mentally ill person from purchasing or possessing a firearm or any other weapon when either a family member, community welfare expert, our law enforcement officer files a sworn request and presents evidence to the court of a threat of violence involving firearms or other weapons. So again, this is the governor's uh, proposal. What's going to happen now? The House and Senate, they are having a joint news conference for their proposal. Now, with all this, keep in mind, there is very little time to get all this done. There are just two weeks left in the regular session. So what we're being told is that the House, the Senate, and the governor are all going to try to work together to get this all passed before the session ends. Live in Tallahassee, Ted Scout, CBS 4 News.